Boss time. All right, let's do it. The Ice Rage Penitentiary. Let's go find the Warden. Now the map is place. This map details structure of the complex facility. All right, so. Uh, confusing as hell. Codex. Fight. Let's see here. Hit this guy. Make him bleed. Ouch. Dwarf takes a big hit too. Hit this guy as well. Now those guys should die in two turns because you know they've been you know bleeding. That's good. Hit this guy. And you hit him too. That's a bad miss, but oh well. Another hit. Well, you get to hit them both, so you can do it. There goes that one. Another hit to my lead fox here, that's not great. Hit him. And... You hit him too. There he goes. They should both be dead, but let's just kill one of them just in case. And there he goes. Awesome. Um... You know, I'm tempted to dicks this stuff, I guess. Not worry about it. Now here's the thing, I don't know what the best way of moving around here is, so I'll go here first, I guess. Codex? Hmm. What's over here? Ooh! I don't need to have all this stuff, but okay. That's a lot of healing items. You know, let's just ditch the fur vest, it's not going to be too helpful, I don't think. Let's stick um, the scrap metal. Uh, interesting. I'm getting lost in here, apparently. So this place sort of repeats itself, I guess, once you find it. Okay, let's just go this way. I think we were here first when we like did the first fight. Huh. Basically it keeps going round and round this place, so... Let's try going here first. P31225, Joe Lang, the engineer, conspiracy and legal protest. P31226, Pung, the playboy. Why do you reang? Violation of speed limit and excessive gaming. Door plate, P32125, Siru, the Thai king of thieves. Sa ha Sakulu, rumor mongering and excessive gaming. P321206, Yang Ho, the evader, Cho, attempted prison escape. P321209, Mingjing, Leaf 
Kinder Kind owner, illegal charity donations, and obstruction of mining. It's rather in the prison part where, you know, all the people died. And Tremors, so that's gonna suck for searching stuff. P3920, Hakun, Bar of Underworld, violating street performance laws. P3913, Emmy, voices Sylvani Evans, violating street performance laws. P3915, Mia, the Bornean Siren, Valencia, violating street performance laws. Bridget Gale. We avoid that. Okay, let's go here. Ooh, excuse me. Let's go, men. You know, I don't like the fact that my fox is taking so much damage. I really probably should put her somewhere else in my party, but whatever. Um, heal up. Heal up a little bit. Dwarf takes a hit. Him assist does something. The fox here, apparently. That's gonna ruin her combat ability, I guess. Ouch, she took another hit. Um. Fire him. That's a miss. You can go hit him. That guy's apparently a lot tougher than this guy, that's good to know. Hit them both. Well, they're not hanging uh, lead guys much anymore, that's nice. Almost killed both of them there. Ouch. Never hit to her. I wonder if the campsite to heal her up with. She got stunned. Hit this one. Down he goes. Now let's focus on this guy here. And... Yeah, you hit him too. You're stunned, so you can't do anything. Another hit to her. Well, she'll heal up now. I might actually wait just to let that happen. The healing up part. Uh, let's do this to heal him up. You just guard. Inspire yourself. It's a little bit of healing for basically is what I'm doing right now. You get stunned. You're stunned, so you can't do anything. This guard. You heal up a little bit more. Finish him off. Just a little bit of health for the fox here. That's what I wanted right there. So, awesome. I'm not sure it really matters, but I'm going to try to pull her back, I think, in a moment. Looks like this tower was used in prison special individuals. I need a key. So you need a key to get through here. Uh, 
All right, so that's where I led. Now we're back here, so let's go here. Ooh, there's the key. Uh... A ghostly dog has a key consistently clenched to his snout. Was he a guard dog in his past life? Hello, boy. Rough, rough. He looks friendly, but reluctant to part with that key. Now, how am I going to get from him? Okay, so you need something to get from a dog. Get the codex. I guess if they go down further. All right, let's do this now. You're gonna switch with lyric, I think. We was probably gonna make the fox here unable to do much, but whatever. Okay, I think we've already been here, so let's go the other way. Maybe up here? Nope, looks like I've already been this way. And it takes me round and round. Round and round and round and round. That's where this goes. My pocket has been saved. Awesome. You know, it's a good thing that it doesn't take vigor because I'd be like, you know, losing my vigor like crazy here. So this just leaves me out here. Huh. I need a key for here and there's nothing else I can really do here than that. This just takes me around and around the first area. I think. This takes me down to a dog. You know, I'm going to hate myself if I have to read the damn book, if that's what I have to do here, so... Let's just check to see this, I guess. This is events. Let's see here. Isaac Fantasia is a prison where those who violate the laws of Isaac are sent. Historically, it served as a facility, facility imprisoned those committed of high treason against the crown. In the years leading up to the events of the incident, it would be used for imprisoning Isenair's political dissidents. Ice Ridge also features in Tegerson Chamber, where it is said inmates are, were tortured in efforts to find information against the conspiracy against King Argum. It is now used as a base of operations for Green Flame. So, that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, nothing in there to tell me what to do. Ah, what am I supposed to do here? I really hate, hate when we have like puzzles that aren't necessarily easy to understand. This takes me up here. As soon as this takes me right back... Oh, this is a new place! Filth Trap! So this is all new. So 
So, Sung Hoo, ba- Bard of Madness, Battling Street Performance Laws, Chang to Gamer, uh, on Illegal Prodding and Excessive Gaming. Uh, this guy is a librarian, nah. Disturbing the Peace and Excessive Gaming. The Little Ninja Trespassing. Peterson, taking a stand for free speech. Kim Ming Yung, Excessive Stubbornness. Moses, the Gypsy Khan, Rallying over Speed Limit. Callus, Tatter, View, Factual Crimes. Gladstone, Incorruptible Spirit, and then Braun Severson, High Treason Against the Crown. Huh. This story is a special microsome open. There's Braun. You know what? I don't really need these items to do anything. No, these don't let me do anything here. We see a question mark popping out is the thing, I guess, at this point. Well, I'll watch my feet a little bit to see if a question mark pops up. Oh well, I've basically visited all the places down here. Let's see if anything new pops out, I guess. Uh... Yep, here we go. A crank? This could be useful. Alright, let's see if this helps me get to the next bit over here. Right, we'll go over here, we'll put the crank into the thing, we'll start up the thing, we'll get through the next bit. There we go. Torture chamber! This is no ordinary prisoner cell. Here's a torture chamber. Code X. By the looks of it, this prisoner died a painful death. There's a name scroll on the prisoner's tag, Bronze Severson. This is Hilda's brother. How am I going to explain this to her? I don't see his wraith anywhere. Maybe he perished before the curse fell upon the city. I should bring this ring back to Hilda. At the very least, she'll be able to confirm his identity. Rest in peace, Bron. There's a bone. We know what we're going to use the bone for. Doggy doggy, here you go. Hey there. Hey boy, what you looking at? This? Rough, rough. Good boy, it's all yours. He dropped the key. Hunger trumps the duty. So happy dog. Time to go up to uh use this key, I guess. I suppose I can't use this stuff because I'm not on a campsite. I would really like to use it though, just to heal up my person. Yeah, not a good place to be rushing around for my pack. Oh well. Let's go through here. Warden, you're around? Alright, down and up. We'll go down first. Ooh, a campfire! Awesome! Guess what I can do here?
All right, well, I don't have the option to um, essentially do uh, any, like, you know, vigor or other stuff, so let's heal her up. You get your heals, too. Two, two, one, one. Do I care about healing him that much? I probably do. I also care about you being in front. I don't care about that stuff at the moment because we're in the final bit here, so... I'm going to heal you up. That's good enough. Let's just get going. I'm glad I found that camp. That really helps out with, like, getting my guys fully healed before the boss. Though I kind of think they should put it on the path rather than, like, you know, off it. So you don't miss it. This is probably going to lead to the boss right here. The local lord here has already been corrupted by the Green Flame's magic. Step aside, I have no quarrel with you, Shade. The Warden. You dare to enter my domain and bark at me? I will shackle your soul to my eternal prison. Alright, here we go. The boss. Damn it. She got hit. Ow. Alright, let's see here. First things first. You start tearing through them, I guess. Nice miss. That's a hit, but oh well. Let's have you hit the hypnotist. Make him bleed a little bit. Um, give everyone a damage boost right now. You keep focusing on him. So that guy should be dead now for like, you know, the next turn he comes. Ouch. You're stunned, you can't do anything. Ouch. I'm okay with him the dwarf because he can like do the big self heal for himself. Make him bleed, by the way. Let's have you hit him. Hit them. There goes the hypnotist. Hope he's going to do a special ability, I guess. Oh, that's no good. We've been reordered. Hit him. Ouch. I'll let them take some punishment with the guys in the back row for now, so that's fine. Ow. Sw swap with him. And... Swap with her. Focus on the Warden. Not a big claw to those guys in front, but oh well. Kill them both. 
Just a word now. Hit him hard. Hit him strong. Don't miss. Nice critical. It's not really a tough boss, he's annoying really, I think this guy. Another miss. Unfortunate. There we go. We win! Nice! So a full heal item right there. Hello. The Warden. Those eyes, I knew you would come. You've broken the Shade King's grip on my mind. I can't even remember my name now, thank you. I can dispel the Shade King's magic. I plan to put an ability, that ability to good use. Elia Lyric, that's your name, is it not? Indeed, but how could you possibly know that? My teammate is Norton. I was a former warden of Icefridge, Penitentiary. Your father, Dr. Nikolai Lyric, was a dear friend. Liar. I have seen the heinous crimes that took place here. My father would never befriend someone who could allow such things to happen. It is true. Many have suffered here. But these indignities were committed to save every life in Eisenair, a mission we failed. Under whose authority were these horrific acts committed? How can order us to subject, subject the Crimson Reign to alternate methods of crushing after we learned of a major plot against the Crown? Just another word for torture and to your own people, no less. My people are the citizens of Eisenair. I did my duty at any cost to protect them. In spite of that, we were too late. Nothing can justify what has happened here. You don't know what you, what you speak. My battle was for information that could have saved the city from the very ruin you see now. The Crimson Reign was not responsible for Eisenair's fate. This city fell to green flame. You have much to learn, dear Evelia. Do you truly believe the Crown was unaware of the Green Flame's activities within the city? Are you suggesting the Crimson Reign was complicit in orchestrating the Green Flame's coup? Elements of the Crimson Reign coordinated efforts of the Green Flame to infiltrate Isenair. In the days leading up to the incident, we were desperately racing against the clock to stop them. Braun Severson himself confessed to this with his dying breath. If what you say is true, then this is a damning information for what remains of the Crimson Reign. We have much to discuss, but I must take my leave now. I am searching for a slippery witch named Isabel Salazar. Before you depart, I have something that was meant for you. This note was delivered to me by some associates of your father to tell me you were come. Another torn page. This is one of the four missing pages of the Codex of Luminis. Unfortunately, I cannot read it. The one you seek is ahead. Good luck to you. Alright, there we go. We've liberated this place. When I entered the chamber, I saw an unspeakable silhouette by the window. Isabel Salazar, what have you done? Give yourselves up, witch. The fiend hardly acknowledged my presence she, as he turned from me. You're in over your head, girl. Isabel, stop! Come and get me if you can. She leapt to her freedom from the window and plunged into the darkness below. Once again, she escaped my grasp. Without a moment's hesitation, I turned my attention to the prisoner, prisoner chained against the wall. I'm here to help you. What's your name? Uh, my name is Argam. I told her everything. She knows where my key is. I could not endure any longer. Please have mercy and end my suffering. King Argam, your majesty, please save your energy. The Dwarven King of Eisner had been horrifically mutilated. He was in no condition to move, and I would have soon have, have to make a difficult decision. It is unfortunate that my mind was under the shaking grip. I could not protect the king, and it doesn't look like he is long for the world. I asked about King Argum. What happened to him? The Green Flames agents tortured him mercilessly to learn the location of his furnace key. Their efforts thus far have been fruitless. The king told me Esbel knew of the location before he passed out. What's the significance of the key, and why would the green flame go to such lengths to retrieve it? The king possesses one of two keys required to activate Nibelung, the heart of Eisenair in the industrial district. I do not know what they plan there. 
The Green Flame has been uh, has been using Ice Rage Peasantry as a base of operations. How long have you been under their control? The Shaking himself came here. He stripped my mind of all reasoning with his magic one year ago. His agents have been using Ice, ice Rage as a place of depression to detainees ever since. They are trying to learn the location of Dalark. After traditional question proved fruitless, they moved the king here and subjected him to advanced interrogation. You said Bronze Severson confessed the Crimson Rain was complicit in allowing the Green Flame to infiltrate the city. What else do you know? Bronze had been observed as a person of interest by the Crown agents for quite some time. They eventually learned that he had been in direct contact with a high-profile Green Flame acolytes. He passed before the incident and was not affected by the Shea King's curse. Bronze considered the Green Flame an ally against the Crown but even he could not have predicted their true intentions. My late father was an inanimate man. I suppose it is not surprising that I should encounter those who knew him so far from home. Nicola has passed. I am sorry to hear this. We were close friends in life. He often made expeditions here to continue his archonic research. He was a very secretive man, and hardly discussed his findings with him. me. He often said, The city is alive with the voice of the archons for those who are willing to listen. How he could find any connection between Isenaria and the Archons was always a mystery to me, though. And I assume this just takes us back to where we came, so we can't go this way. There's the king. So, what are we going to do with the king? <coughs> he's unconscious. I'm not sure he will make it. My discovery of his whereabouts is leaving, but he's in no condition to move. It's time to make an important decision. Wait, leave him here, or bring him back. Um, I guess I have to try and bring him back. Bring him back to Dalek will be a huge risk, but it's one I'm willing to make. Don't worry, Your Majesty, we're going to be going back home. Even if it comes back, of course, right? It's better than anything. Welcome back, Lyric. I'm happy to see you returned to us in good health. I was just discussing your expedition with Hakon. Were you able to apprehend a rich? I thought I'd finally caught her, but she eluded me once again. There has been more pressing developments. In my pursuit of Isabel, I discovered King Argum's whereabouts. I brought him back here, and he is now resting safely at the manor. As I live and breathe, you've gone and done it. The crown will be forever in your debt. I shall depart now to see him. Thank you, Lyric. Finding the king was a stroke of good fortune, but there's more to report. Before King Argon passed out, he told me Isabel knew the location was key. It seemed important. Then we are in dire straits. The Shea King is now one step closer to activating the Nibelung. The Nibelung? It is the first core of the massive industrial factory. It was once used to both power the city and manufacture cutting edge dwarven tech. Volsim was the chief engineer there. If the Shea King reactivates it, he'll have a powerful engine for his war machine. You speak as if the Shen King destroyed an entire city for a single purpose of accessing a dormant factory. If his plans come to fruition, Isenair will be the least of our worries. He'll be able to manufacture Golem Sentinels to wage a single war outside of Isenair. I must be missing something here. Trust us, Lyric, we're fortunate the new along was constructed with a, a built-in safeguard. It can only be accessed with two keys, one of which belongs to King Argum, and the other to our friendly inventor, Blavolsung. The Lady, Lady Luck is still with us. We only need to speak of Volsung about the key. Lurk, could you do the honors? Sir, if it, Isabel has the key, she may head toward the industrial district. We may be a good opportunity to waylay her. Gain that key would give us control of Nibelung and strike a heavy blow against the green flame. They have a heavy presence there. With Lurk's help, I could lead two experienced teams to the surface. If Isabel is to be found, one of us will pin, pin her there. I'm willing to do this. What do you say, Zachard? No. Going with proper intelligence makes mission, this mission too much of a risk. We will bind our time for now. Alright, well there we go. I'll have to start talking to people again for, you know, the end of chapter 3, so to speak, but... Well, I'm happy to say that, you know... I beat chapter 2. Let's just head back to my inn, I guess, and we'll drop off some stuff. They don't seem to say anything different, these guys. 
I also bought no another mug of ale, Chief. You buy him, right? I hate to rain your parade, but we're just praying soon. Let's heal up. Oh, the stream again. Let's run it. Who are you? Show yourself. Ah, that felt so real. These reincurring dreams are leading my thoughts to dark places. Okay, let's actually heal up now. Hey, you know what? Let's change our outfit to something else. There we go. Now I got the foxier outfit, because why not? Alright, let's see here. I have to say, I'm probably going to start doing crafting runs, I think, at this point. Just to start, like, you know, uh, or, you know, uh, craft item runs, just to start to get more items to basically use for crafting. Because it's getting ridiculous just how much stuff I'm, like, you know, needing for, like, crafting at this point, I guess. I probably should have kept that fur vest, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Alright, let's see if I can start dropping stuff in here of this type. Uh, so... Drop that in there, drop that in there. Let's drop it all in here. Then I'm going to start taking stuff out. So two of this, one of that, one of that, one of that. Whoops. There we go. Now this stuff here. Apparently I put some more herbal stuff in here, so I'll have to do that. Light ration, med crate, heavy ration. I also go to the market just do some quick housekeeping. I wish I could actually move my items around, per, uh, you know, manually. So, you know, I could just destroy the stuff I need to. We'll get one of those. Whoops. Let's see here. We're going to drop you in there. So that's done. Med pouch. Med crate. Med pack. I have a guess that, you know... Yeah, these are, you know, we'll go here. We'll take that out. We'll take those out. Put that in. Put one of those in, one of those in, one of those in. Actually, both of those in. So there we go. Organize my, like, stash to have stuff in, you know, in order, I guess. They definitely need to make it like sorting a little bit easier for like you know this type of thing. I think. But whatever. Uh, I'm gonna take some of this stuff out, and I'll take some of this stuff out. Not perfect, but at least I got a nice little, uh, you know, bit of rations to make use of here. Alright, that's going to be for it for this episode, I think, or episodes, probably is the case. I'm probably going to split these. Next time, I'm probably just going to run around the city, having a little chat with everyone to see if they say anything new. But for now, I'm pretty much happy with, like, you know, what we got. And I'm going to say, yeah, take care, all. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.